In hope of deflecting some of the recent negative light off Donald Trump, it's practically given that a heavily redacted version of the Mueller report will be strategically released by the Trump regime later this week. However, what won't be released this week, or any time soon for that matter, are Trump's tax returns, thanks to the support he seems to have within the Treasury Department. Nevertheless, based on the latest news, it appears none of that really matters, as various House committees have begun issuing friendly subpoenas to the likes of Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan Chase, Mazars, and Capital One, in order to obtain Donald Trump's financial records, particularly those pertaining to financial dealings with Russia. If obtaining those records happens to shed any more negative light on Trump, his money trail, and or his loyalties to foreign enemies of the United States, then his tax returns won't really be required to confirm how truly corrupt they must be. Seriously, folks. The news of these subpoenas is huge, as they suggest House Democrats have the clear upper hand in the ongoing battle, even if Trump's Treasury Department continues to illegally block the release of his tax returns. Also, considering it was first publicly revealed last week that Capital One had been working with House Democrats for more than a month, who's to say it and the other three named institutions are the only ones involved? Even if they are, with these four lining up in full cooperation and illustrating a willingness to turn over Trump's records, surely the scandal is on the verge of exposure.